On a recent video posted on Instagram by Ubon King, at right underscore treasurer asked, Sometimes, focusing on low paying job distracts staff from learning, which was the first intention. Is it okay to own a side business while working for someone just so one can earn more too while learning on a low paying job, which is more obtainable now? Okay, let me answer this question. Now, intelligent people or successful people, there's a difference. A poor man and a rich man, the difference is what they do with their money. Now, take for example, now if a rich man has 30,000 naira eh, and a poor man has 30,000 naira, now let's put it like this. Each of them has the same 30,000 naira. It's what they do that matters. Now, a poor man will go and buy yam, um, vegetables, you know, oil, you know, eggs, bread, every single thing. He will, he will buy it for his house and then make sure the house has eaten. The whole 30,000 naira having zero money. But the rich man will not do that. What the rich man will do, will remove it into 15,000 naira he will buy food stuff. Those that he can buy, like here, the remaining 15,000 naira, he will do something else. Now, what does he do with this 15,000 naira is important. He will go to one of the biggest hotels or biggest places where a lot of people are. He will ensure he sits with them, buys a bottle of Coke or, or soft drink or whatever he can afford, and sit there with his complimentary card and hand over his card. So with that, he's able to create new networks and be able to connect with people. Now, let's look at this case again. This man is poor. How do we get this man out of this situation? So I intend to do something for you. So a man has 30,000 naira. The man is in a low paying job. What is the avatar of this particular man? We give him a name, maybe like Bolaji. If you are Bolaji, please don't. Okay, Bolaji, OM. I know there's no other person that bears that kind of name. So Bolaji Uwem is his name. Bolaji is married. He lives in a house and he has two children. And in his house, he also has maybe his brother or his sister-in-law staying with him, his brother. Also. So he has one relative. Now, every day he goes to work, he has to spend transport of 1K per day, an average of um, 25 days in a month, so that's 25k transport. Now, with this is a typical case of many people in um, our dear country. So you ask me, how does this man think rich? How does this man go from this level to the next level? Now, remember this man has been surviving on this money. He will also be meeting with his village people to do umunna things, you know, our local community thing. So they will sit together and then they will drink maybe one or two bottles of beer and then they will juice with as soon with meat. It's possible. So there's a budget for that. Now, what I would advise is that if this man here who lives in somewhere maybe Olo, o, Oshodi, Oshodi, uh, how do you spell Oshodi? Oshodi, okay. Now wants to change his mind. What he needs to do is that he deliberately has to start an investment plan for himself. And maybe he will remove 5K per month. He will cut that money aside and this is my investment plan. Now this investment plan, he can decide to put it as a contribution. Those things they call Isusu or Ajo, I hope I don't get the spelling wrong, or local contribution. Now, if he does it with a group of people, depending on their grade, in a month, in a year, that is in 12 months, it will have 60K. Now, this money is not meant for like savings. This money is for investment. This money is not to be touched. This money is supposed to be invested. Now, the person has to, during this period, be able to find if he can buy an Okada. As simple as that. Or a block molding machine. Or a small generator that he can rent. If he's able to do an Okada, he doesn't have to be the one to ride. He can hand it over to somebody to ride with an agreement that they pay 2,000 Naira a day. Now, if somebody pays 2,000 Naira a day times 30 days, you have 60,000 Naira. Now, this 60K 
over a space of 12 months, remember he's not spending money, is 720,000 Naira. 720,000 Naira. If he takes 50% of this to feed his family, to make them better, he would have at least 360,000 Naira. Now, this money, is what he will do to invest in a second Okada. Now, maybe 60K may not be the one. And you can take an IOU or get somebody to augment you, maybe extra 100K to augment you for it. If you are able to do this, please pay the debt back and have your bike. And then you can run it. If you now have the money, you can buy a second bike. So if you have two bikes that are producing 2,000 Naira per day for you, that's 4,000 times 30 days is 120,000 Naira. You will definitely be living from poor to middle class to whatever. It depends. The difference between a rich man and a poor man is not money. It's what they do with their money. Apart from Anokada, you have a block making factory. A block making this thing. Now, what you do is that you target a place where people are building houses. And that block molding this thing, you get it there. And make sure you are diligent enough to supervise who is building the blocks. Now, if somebody is building your blocks for your whatever, you always charge per the number of blocks or charge per whatever is used. You will make money. Now, this is the magic. That 5,000 Naira that you throw away is important. That 5,000 Naira that you abuse or you take for drinks is important. Small generator you can rent out maybe for a day, uh, maybe 5,000 or whatever per day or 10,000 per day. It will help you. So you need to bring out this money. So if, you're, if your cash is 50K, you can cut out 10K. In a year, that is 120K. Now, some banks may give you that uh, maybe microfinance or whatever, but I need you to think there are ways of raising money through this small money. There's no money that is small. It's what you do with your money that either tells me whether you are rich or that you are poor. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Now, if you need Ubon King to answer to any of your business or relationship related questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below or follow Ubon King on Instagram at Ubon King and use the DM. Thank you. Business is war. Treat it as such. Treat it as such.